this is Dan Richardson at the Chapel of the North Hills. We're continuing our look at prayer by reading parts of the Bible every day for 40 days. Today we're on day 33, so I invite you into the chapter, 2 Samuel chapter 12. This is a story of what happened after David's affair with Bathsheba. Bathsheba turned out to be pregnant because of that affair, and in order to cover up that pregnancy, David ended up having Uriah killed. Well, there was a baby as a result of that affair, and this is what had happened to that baby. God had pronounced a judgment on it. So here we are in 2 Samuel chapter 12, 15 and 16. The Lord struck the baby that Uriah's wife had born to David and he became deathly ill. David pleaded with God for the boy. He fasted, went home, and spent the night lying on the ground. Zip down to chapter, same chapter, verse 22. He answered, while the baby was alive, I fasted and wept because I thought, who knows, the Lord might be gracious to me and let him live. But now that he's dead, why should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I'll go to him, but he will never return to me. So David had this adulterous affair. There was widespread consequences. The first child of this union died. And while that baby was still alive, David was praying constantly for the life of the child. David had already confessed his sin. He'd already humbled himself to God. He had already been, been uh, brought, called on the carpet by Nathan the prophet, and he was pouring out his soul in the uh, expression we find in Psalm chapter 51. When the child died, nobody in the palace wanted to tell David. They didn't want to bring David the bad news. It never seemed to work out for anybody that brings David bad news. However, David saw them talking, and he guessed what had happened. And he actually took it kind of well. He explained that he was praying for the baby's life as long as there was a chance. This tells us as long as a person's alive, there's hope. There is hope. Until the person takes a final breath, then there is still hope for a prayer to take effect and for them to call out to God and to be saved. So when you have lost friends or family, never quit praying for them. Never quit praying for them. As long as there's a chance, you keep at it. You keep praying. But it also tells us in a beautiful way that this world is not all there is. This life is not all that life is. It goes beyond what we see and hear and the birds, and the sky, and the sea. It goes beyond all of that into eternity. Babies that pass away, they will be in heaven. We're guaranteed to that. There is an afterlife, and David knew he was going to go to where the baby was, is. So this is a beautiful blessing for us, a beautiful reminder that we need to pray for others. Sure, we need to pray for situations that they find themselves in and for physical ailments that, uh, that come upon us. But we need to be praying for lost people to be able to know Jesus so that we can have that hope of a blessed reunion in heaven. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.